Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of gangrenous appendicitis. A middle-aged male patient came with right lower abdominal pain and vomiting. The duration of history was around 5 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Hey, you can see a blind-ended, distended, non-compressible tubular structure. It is of intestinal origin and it is connected to the adjacent cecum. You can see there is no gut signature at the wall. And surrounding fat appears hyperechoic and thickened, indicating fat is trending. There are at least two hyperechoic structures casting posterior acoustic shadow within the lumen, which are appendicolates. And this is the adjacent cecum and it is connected to this cecal part. So this tubular structure with loss of gut signature indicates it as a case of gangrenous appendicitis. Here's the picture. You can see the blind-ended tubular non-compressible structure with surrounding fat stranding. And you can see the internal appendicolith casting acoustic shadow and it is connected to adjacent cecum here. So in summary, a blinded, distended, non-compressible tubular structure of intestinal origin connected to adjacent cecum with loss of gut signature, surrounding fat stranding and intraluminal ecogenic structures casting acoustic shadows is noted at the right iliac fossa indicating gangrenous appendicitis. Now the take home message. In case of gangrenous appendicitis, always try to look for the localized collection. If you see a localized collection adjacent to a gangrenous appendix, it may suggest perforation, which is not uncommon. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.